The Wash Allen Show. Now, here's your host, Wash Allen. Welcome to Helping a Hero, ladies and gentlemen, the big gala for all the soldiers, the wounded soldiers. Are you ready? Let's take a look on The Wash Allen Show. I have a gentleman here that's been here from the beginning in the name of... Bob Clark. Now, you know, Helping a Hero has become a, a name that most people want to be associated with. Now, you were here from the beginning. You and your guys, yep. you guys started this, right? We did. Yes, sir, we sure did. Back in April of 06, myself and two other gentlemen, we went and we volunteered at a golf tournament that was designed to help some wounded Marine vets. After that, on our car trip on the way back home again, we said, we can do this. By golly, we're going to do it better. We did a golf tournament, a fishing tournament, and a motorcycle ride. <laughs> so that's what we did to raise money for these men and women. We brought them down from Brook Army Medical Center, and they had a terrific weekend. That's going back now to October of 06. So that's a long, long time ago, Walsh. You're kidding. Yeah. Um, after that, we merged with another organization that came to us from the Rotary Club of Houston, okay. and that's when Meredith Eiler came to us. Yes, Meredith. So Meredith came to us, and we merged our little Helping a Hero organization uh -huh. with Meredith's organization, and our focus changed at that point from being an entertainment of our troops organization to being a home building for our troops organization. So thank God for Meredith Eiler. She has brought so many wonderful opportunities to helping a hero. It's just been an absolute blessing. I have a gentleman here. What is your name, sir? It's Chuck Fuller. Well, I hear that uh, you're part of these festivities quite a bit. Tell us how. Well, I was injured in Iraq, and I was awarded one of the houses through helping a hero. And I just, you know, they're doing a wonderful job here, and it's, you know, it was great to have a house from them. Boy, it surely is. So uh, you one of the recipients then? Yes, yes. So are you married? Yes, I am married. So you're going to have a wife to snuggle up to too in your big beautiful house, right? Oh yeah, yeah. She'll keep me warm in the house. <laughs> oh boy, I tell you. So um, what have you got to say since you're back and since you're home and all of these festivities and all these things, plus what has happened to you? Tell, talk to me about that. Just say something. Well, I just think they all vets need to realize there are people out there willing to help and stuff because there's a lot of vets that just don't know where to get help or anything and this just shows that there are people willing to help the injured vets and uh, a lot of vets like I said just don't know where to get help and we need to help them and these people are taking care of us that there are people that's willing to step up and take care of the injured vets. Well we would like to thank you because you're a vital part of this country and a part of us so Thank you and hope you do better and you do well. Okay, thanks a lot. Nice talk. Enjoy that day. I'm going to try to. <laughs> and today, tonight, I have, what's your name, man? Tanish Perry. I think I've heard that name before. And we have? Dr. John Stanford, Jr. Now, see, uh, Dr. John Stanford, Jr., you should say, of MJWJ Radio Network. That's correct. <laughs> I'm glad you got that. <laughs> Great. But um, this is your daughter, and um, you know, so I hear that you are from a military family, really, overall. Is that true? That is correct. My father served in armed services as well as my uncles. And this is your father? Yes, this is my father. Very proud of him. Okay. So, um... She's proud have... of my uncles also. Huh? She's proud of my uncles also. Oh, you have uncles, too? Yes, That's yes. I served in the military the military well. also? Yes. Okay. Then, and what is your occupation now? I'm a registered nurse. Yes, but I worked at U.S. Vets for four years prior to going to nursing. Oh, really? So I, I do have a personal connection with helping the heroes. I'm talking with... Sandra Norman. And you're Norman, too, right? The better half, John Norman. <laughs> okay, then, great. Now, John, I hear that, that you uh, have been involved with some military uh, uh, thing, too, also, haven't you? Yes, I spent four years in the Air Force. And uh, Armistice Day, which is the 11th of November, which was yesterday, was also my birthday. I was born on November the 11th. Can I say happy birthday to your husband? Yes, you can. <laughs> happy birthday, John. Oh, thank you, Washington. It's an honor being here with these GIs, ex-GIs, 
military men, they deserve everything they get. To whom am I speaking with, sir? Tom Mitchell. Now, look here, I know, you know, we're here at the um, uh, Helping a Hero and all of that, the veterans. Tell us what involvement you, you have in any of these festivities or just being here or what? I'm the executive director of U.S. Vets, uh, which is a nonprofit that serves veterans, and I'm also a veteran. So we're here supporting veterans in uh, multiple ways. Uh, we have a program that serves homeless veterans, our veterans at risk of homelessness, and we have 500 veterans living in our facility on Main Street. Just, just ran into some real good-looking people. They look like billionaires, maybe trillionaires. <laughs> to whom am I speaking with, sir? Yeah, Gary Talbert. And? Jim Alexander. And? Alicia Harris. And? Bill Palco. I'm also an advisory board member for Helping a Hero, and I've been involved with the organization since 2008 through my Rotary Club, the North Shore Rotary Club. We've helped build three houses uh, since 2008 and donated a lot of money. And then this year, Meredith Eiler asked me to be on the advisory board, so I joined the advisory board as well. Uh, we think it's a great organization because, of course, it takes care of our wounded, severely wounded heroes who have come back and fought for our freedom. And we're just glad that we can participate in it and thank them for their service. I have uh, distinguished couples here, as you can see. So, what is your name, Ann? Vanessa. Vanessa. Vanessa what? Del Rio. And your name, sir? Alex Del Rio. Now, the two of you know each other. You're husband and wife. Yes, sir. That's my wife. <laughs> you guys, they're kind of shy about themselves being married here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, are, you, are you a recipient of any of these awards? Or what? Uh, yes, sir. For the Helping a Hero organization, a home recipient. You got a, you got a home? Yes, sir. So, how does that feel, wife? Uh, it's great. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough. Yeah. Let me step right over here. So what is your name? Marty Gonzalez. Uh, did, I, did I talk with you last year about this or a year before last? Yes, sir. It's actually been one year since I received my home. Today. Exactly today. Exactly today. today. Maybe that's why... You, you seem so vibrant and sparkling today. It's, it, it's, a, an, it's an amazing gift that people give back to us, and it's just awesome, you know, that Americans can come, you know, come together. And also, and also this makes the wife kind of happy too, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And then I can get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> we, we made room. <laughs> she was so happy she got pregnant. We'll be right back with more of The Wash Allen Show. Welcome back to The Wash Allen Show. Here we are at the Helping a Hero, ladies and gentlemen, yours truly, Wash Allen. I have some special guests here I'd like for you to meet. What is your name, sir? I'm Scott Latham. And Chris McDermott. So, uh, are you necessarily a recipient or what? Yes, last year I was a recipient. This year I'm, uh, I'm here just uh, supporting my fellow wounded soldiers. My name is Chris, Chris McDermott. Uh, Chris, uh, what about you? How do you feel about all these activities, man? Wonderful, wonderful organization. I'm a, I'm a contributor. I'm a retired Army myself. Okay. And uh, I've been involved in it a couple, for a couple of years and thrilled to be here. Two lovely ladies. What is your name? Christine Vassallo. And what is your name? Linda Painter. What do you do? Are you a movie star? Or? Uh, not tonight, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. So what do you do? Um, I'm in medical device sales. Great. She makes a lot of money, everybody. <laughs> so what do you do? A real estate development. She makes more money, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we like to get attractive people, and, and I know you guys probably own uh, New York City or somewhere, don't you? I don't own New York City, but I'll tell you one thing, I'm proud of everybody that's here tonight because I'm chairman of this thing. Woo-wee, and what is your name? C.W. Chuck Janess. Right. And I'm happy that everybody's here. Now, who are you interviewing with? Well, I'm in... Oh, now, what, sir! What, what, now, what, we want to know what you're doing. I mean, you, you're the boss of this thing, so I, whatever you want, I'll give it up, sir. <laughs> Thank you. And what is your name? Man? It's Margaret Smith. 
Barbara Smith. Yes. So you guys happy tonight? Having a ball. Thank you. It's good. Uh, it's a great cause. Why don't you tell everybody, the millions of people that are watching us right now around the world, tell us, ladies and gentlemen, who you are. I'm Marsha Clark, and I'm the wife of the original founder of Helping a Hero, Bob Clark. Oh, she's... I knew you were somebody when you were walking oh, around. No. <laughs> well, I, well, you know, it's my husband. He's the one that put it all together. So, you know, it's a great organization. It's a wonderful thing we do for our soldiers that have come back. You're right. And, you know, it's, it's the least we can do for them after everything they've done and given up for us. That's great. What is your name, ma'am? Christina Somerville. And what is your name, sir? Paul Somerville. So the two each, each other know each other very well or what? We do. We sleep together. Woo we. I'm sorry, Lynn. This is a <laughs> rated R. <stu> no. <laughs> so what do you do in life? I actually just uh, retired from paid work as a banker. And I'm now working with my husband, Paul. Retired? You don't look retired. <laughs> well, thank you. It's only been two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what do you do? We're other than that? We own an international oil field construction company. What's the name of it? Associated Pipeline Contractors. So what are your thoughts about tonight? Well, these young people that have given so much for the freedoms that we get to enjoy. What's your name, sir? Andrew Casey. Right. And? Hunter Davis. Hey, good. And? Matthew Pompa. And? Connor Mitchell. All right. Guys, looking good, man. I think I found another recipient. What is your name, sir? My name is uh, Corporal Rob Engelbred. And uh, tell me something about yourself, man, right quick. Uh, let's see, I was um, injured in uh, 06 in Iraq. I was uh, hit by an IED in a Humvee. I've, I've been injured pretty severely, but uh, Helping a Hero came to me and, and told me, we, we want to build you a house. You thought they were kidding, huh? <laughs> <laughs> my, my parents actually signed me up, so oh, really? it was it was a big surprise to me. I I, I didn't know anything about it. So, so are you married now? No, I'm 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 actually being a, uh, a Brandon Byers, another one of the, the soldiers here, is getting a house, and he him and his family is uh, moved in with me at the moment. So I'm single by myself, and I got a, a four bedroom house that was empty, and I said, hey, come on. Uh, very special gentleman here. Aren't you a recipient, a recipient here? Yes, I received my house back in 2008. I see. Tell me a little bit of something about yourself since I don't know anything. I was injured in 2005 on my second tour of duty in Iraq. So you had, it, it, did you get your home this year or last year or when? 2008. 2008, okay, I think you said that. Well, I want to congratulate you. A pleasure. It's been great. I, I want to thank you. I do it all again. My pleasure. All right. Couldn't ask for better. I have with me the one and only Mr. Tony Malone. So are you the real one? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And we have here. Donna Malone. Oh, boy. Are you the little one, too? <laughs> I hope so. Okay. Arlene Hoffman. Arlene Hoffman. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. You're sitting with classy people here, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm a lucky girl. So that means you must be special, too. Oh, I don't know how special. <laughs> so how has everything been going with you? Things are wonderful. This is a great cause. Great cause. It really is. Something we love coming to every year. What is your name, sir? I'm Commander Greg Williams from Houston, Texas. You're looking like a million dollars. What do you do? Uh, I'm a commander in the Navy. I will be retiring here, hopefully, at the end of this year. Retiring? Retiring. It's been 24 years, Wash. That's long enough. You must have started when you were a baby. <laughs> I was a baby. I'm still trying to find that guy. I don't know what happened to him. We'll be right back with The Wash Allen Show. Welcome back to The Wash Allen Show. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the one and only here. Uh, Mr. Lynn Swan, how are you doing? I'm doing just fine, thank you. Tell us a little something about what you're doing and all the stuff you're doing right now. Well, I do, right now I sit on a few corporate boards, um, have a company of my own in Pittsburgh, 
but I'm honored to be here in Houston uh, working with Meredith Eiler on HelpingAHero.org. It's a great organization uh, that raises money to build homes for men and women in the military who are injured, who come home, and need a place that's fitted for them. Amputees, burn victims, need special air conditioning modifications to the home, and so they're building homes, and they've built homes in over 22 states. What is your name? Demetrius Harris. What is your name? I'm Promise Harris. What is your name? Gene Tulick. So uh, what do you do? I'm a systems engineer. Uh, so what do you do? I'm the assistant to the base commander here at Ellington. And I'm the chairman of the Houston Military Affairs Committee. What is your name, sir? Sean Huggins. And? Uh, Marty Mistretta. And? Brent White. So what do you do? I'm the recruiting battalion commander for the U.S. Army in Houston. Big time job, isn't it? Uh, it can be. And so what do you do? I am senior master, uh, uh, Marty Mistretta. I work for the Harris County Tax Office Office of Mike Sullivan from Military Help Desk. What is your name, sir? John Rivers. And what is your name? Rodney Rios. What do you do? I'm a pilot at the Coast Guard Air Station in Houston, Texas. You don't look like a pilot. Oh, well, I am. <laughs> so what do you do? I'm the same, sir. I'm also a pilot at the air station at uh, Houston. What's your name, sir? Uh, Master Chief Mitchell. OK, and what's your name? Matthew Mendoza. And? John Carlos. So what do you do, sir? You look big time. I ain't big time. I'm just ROTC instructor at uh, Dawson High School. I retired in 2009. That's great. Yes, sir. So what do you do? I'm the commanding officer of the, my JROTC unit at Glenda Dawson High School. All right, then. What about you, sir? Well, I'm a businessman in Houston, owned Venetian Blind Carpet One, but I'm a two-tour Vietnam War veteran. Hey, what is your name, ma'am? Commander Rosalind Brooks. So, Roslyn, what do you do all dressed up like this? Are you, is this just a costume, or are you pretending, or what? <laughs> no, I'm retired Navy, but I'm the senior naval science instructor at Glenda Dawson High School, and we perform the color guard today. And what is your name, sir? Uh, Jerry Esposito. And we have? Elaine Esposito. And you're a husband and wife, right? Yes, sir. So, tell me something about yourself right quick. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen. Live uh, all the way upstate New York. New York? Oh, yeah. So what are you doing in Houston? Uh, I guess I'm getting a house. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. That's a good reason, isn't it? I like that. <laughs> so how do you feel about all this? I'm very excited. Very, very excited. You don't mind getting a house either? Oh, no, I don't mind at all. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Captain Juan Guerrero. Shannon Guerrero. So you one of the recipients also, right? Yes, sir. So how do you feel about being a recipient with your husband? I'm shocked. As of two weeks ago, we knew nothing about this, and all of a sudden, we've been selected. So it's great. I'm very thankful. So how do you feel about all this? Very excited, very thankful, very appreciative of all the work and the support that uh, Helping the Hero has provided for us. So what is your name, madam? Rosvita Carter. And? Mark Carter. So uh, obviously the two of you are together, right? Yes, my wife. <laughs> so how do you feel about all this that's happening to you? No, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, helping a hero, helping our soldiers is what we need to do. Um, everybody has uh, you know, something that they can do, something they can give. And so that's why we're here. We're here to help these guys out. I'm talking to another want-to-be recipient. How are you doing? What's your name? Joshua Stahl. This is my wife, Trudis Stahl. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, so uh, you're hoping to be a recipient of uh, a home? Yes. You really want one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he says so much. Because you, you got to take care of a wife and a baby, right? Yeah, this will be our fifth child. Oh, man. What? Oh, man. I thought this was your first rodeo. <laughs> no, no, not, not at all. So what is your name? Leslie. And your name? Lauren Alaska. I'm Fred Hilton. I'm Alan Tang. Diana Watson. Kristen Massey with Bayou City Event Center. 
Sunny Sharma. And my name is Bob Gebhardt. Kimberly Perler. Daryl Schrader. So how do you feel about tonight? I love tonight. I mean, there's nothing better than helping the soldiers. We have, I believe, a recipient, am I right? That's correct. Tell everybody around the world your name. Jennifer Penn. Give me a little something about yourself right quick. Well, I'm a 12-year-old vet from the Navy. What is your name, sir? Uh, Brad Hughes. And Mr. Hughes, you are a recipient, aren't you? I am, yes. So how, is your, how are your feelings about this? Uh, well, grateful, you know, grateful. yeah. Well, who is this lady next to you? This is my lovely wife, Allison. Hello, that lovely wife. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Meredith, another wonderful night with General Fr Franks and, of course, uh, Lee and Swan. You just do it all, don't you? Well, we're so honored. I tell you what, when you meet these young men and women who have served and sacrificed so much for our freedom, how can you not get excited about saying thank you to them in a tangible way? All right. Thanks, and keep doing this. Thank you. Okay, great. We'll be right back with The Wash Allen Show. Welcome back to The Wash Allen Show. Hope you've enjoyed The Wash Allen Show tonight. I have my executive producer here with me, Judy Faustin of Boston International. Judy, what do you say? Watch, I would just like to congratulate my great friend, Meredith Eiler, for just having the vision of saluting our severely wounded soldiers with a home. Congratulations, Meredith. And we see you next week, same time, same station. Until then, bye-bye. The Wash Allen Show has been brought to you by Frenchie's Chicken, Bayway Lincoln Volvo, and MJWJ Global Radio Network.